Have you ever wondered how a solar storm could affect us here on Earth? Well, let's explore that. Back in the early 20s, scientists began predicting a significant solar storm set to occur in 2025. This prediction was based on the solar cycle, a roughly 11-year cycle in which the sun's activity increases and decreases. Now, what exactly is this solar activity? It's a mix of solar flares and something called coronal mass ejections, or CMEs for short. Solar flares are bursts of radiation that can cause radio blackouts, and CMEs are more violent eruptions that primarily affect Earth's magnetosphere. This can lead to power outages and can even disrupt GPS and radio communications. The Sun had been on a steady journey towards its solar maximum, a peak in activity expected in July 2025. As this time approached, scientists warned that we could expect increased solar flares and space storms. The potential impacts of these phenomena could be significant, affecting everything from our daily use of technology to the spectacle of auroras in the sky. As we approached 2025, the world watched with bated breath, not knowing what the impending solar storm would bring. Then came the year 2025, and with it, the solar storm we had been anticipating. It was unlike anything we had seen before. The sun erupted with a power and intensity that sent a wave of charged particles hurtling towards Earth. Once they reached our atmosphere, they began to dance with the gases present, creating a mesmerizing display of auroras. These northern and southern lights, typically confined to the polar regions, were seen further south than usual, painting the sky with hues of green, purple, and red. But this celestial spectacle was not without its repercussions. The storm disrupted our power grids, causing intermittent blackouts and plunging cities into darkness. GPS systems, which we heavily rely on for navigation, started to falter, leaving many disoriented. Radio communications, too, were not spared, leading to disrupted broadcasts and hampering emergency services. Daily life as we knew it was affected. Simple tasks like cooking dinner or commuting to work became challenges. Emergency services scrambled to respond to the crisis while scientists worked tirelessly to understand the storm and predict its next phase. In the face of such a powerful natural event, we were reminded of our vulnerability and our deep connection with the cosmos. The solar storm of 2025 was in full swing, and we were feeling its effects. Once the solar storm had passed, we were left to deal with its aftermath. The storm left a significant imprint on our planet, with power outages and interrupted communication systems becoming the new norm for a while. It was a time when the hum of electricity became a luxury rather than a given. Power grids across the globe faltered under the storm's impact, plunging cities into darkness. The silence of radio waves was deafening as GPS and radio communications took a severe hit. The disruption was not just an inconvenience, but a challenge for emergency services, logistics, and everyday life alike. But as humans often do in times of crisis, people adapted. They had prepared for the storm, they had stocked up on supplies, non-perishable food, clean water, flashlights, blankets, and even means of cooking without electricity. Battery-powered and wind-up radios came back into fashion, becoming the primary source of news and weather updates in a world where digital communication was unreliable at best. And it wasn't just about enduring the storm. Science was at work too, seizing this event as a unique opportunity for research. A solar storm of this magnitude was a treasure trove of data, a real-time laboratory to understand the sun's behavior and its effects on our planet. NASA's Solar Orbiter and Parker Solar Probe were in the thick of it, collecting invaluable data to help forecast future geomagnetic storms. Scientists were studying the storm's impact on Earth's magnetosphere and its interaction with our planet's gases, leading to the spectacular auroras. This research was not just about understanding the spectacle of nature, but also about safeguarding our future. Because, let's face it, this won't be the last solar storm we face. As our sun continues its 11-year solar cycle, more solar flares and geomagnetic storms are on the horizon. Preparing for them, understanding them, and learning to predict them is our best defense. The solar storm of 2025 was a stark reminder of our vulnerability to the forces of nature and the importance of preparedness and resilience. We learned that we could not only endure but adapt and grow in the face of adversity. We took the storm's challenge and turned it into an opportunity, an opportunity to learn, to prepare, and to become stronger for the storms yet to come.